An English Ode That famous field where nodding poppies sway In sunlit grass where souls of all the good Spend sweet eternity in dance and play And with the gods take beauty as their food Upon the isle across the sea that circles all the mortal world with misty waters like a castle moat. How like must that famed meadow be to these fair fields where late I've strolled, these hills and lanes, these woods, this very spot. Was it vain pomp or blind naivety that made the folk of ancient Egypt style their image of divine eternity upon the earthly land astride the Nile, where they might hunt in starry creeks beside the starry waterway, or find in starry gardens sweet cool shade, or likewise made the clan of Greeks use Grecian fields where grasses sway as models for their paradisal glade. But no, let neither supposition stand. I say that it was rather that they paid the greatest compliment to their dear land when seeing beauty there divine, they said. And so to English summertime such compliment I wish to pay as will the praise of those old pagans match. The heaven forming in my mind, the isle to which I'll cross one day, has village greens and homes with roofs of thatch. What's Freya's meadow, Folkvang, after all, where Valkyries take half the great and best? If not the field with rushes growing tall, where Hathor greets arrivals in the west? And what's the place where Arthur dwells, where all of nature's fruitful gifts, the generous soil untended freely yields? That apple isle, which by their spells, nine sisters shroud in fairy mists, what's Avalon, if not the Elysian fields? <laughs>